yesterday the um the finale of the BC uh, the finale of the BC series Hot Chill came out yesterday. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who tuned in. I watched it and I can safely say that this season was one of my favorites. But let me just go down the line on what I think how I think the show personally did that. Do I think it was better than last year's season kind of show? Atlanta? No, not so. But I do think it lived up to some of its expectations. Now, let's just go down the line with the um let's start with the boys first. Um, uh, Chris you know, he was really the, the jokester of the house. He was, uh, he was, a, he was a jokester. And he was, like like Tiffany said or, um, on the on the that he's the rock of the house. Like everyone, everyone was cool with him. Everyone liked him. So he was like, he was like the most like Paul. He was cool with him. I really didn't like Paul. I thought he was a fake bitch. Um, but people, um, people really got along with him as well. Okay, then it was Kyle. Kyle. I genuinely think Kyle's a nice person, but he could be an off the wall bitch as well. Brandon, you know, you know, you got to chew a fake ass bitch. No, don't try to, don't try to, um, don't try to fake it. You already know what you are. You know what you are. You came on the show and um, and actually, I still, I still, I still think you guys to have some fake bitch. Cause you put a fake bitch all through the damn show. Now let's go down to the girls. The line, that's my favorite. Love the line, the line of sex, the line of pride. She got a head on her shoulders. But I do think Milan is a little bit, I do think she's a little rude. If I was in the house, I'd probably get that tool with Milan. So I have some of the things she says to do. Now, Tiffany, um, I really can't say too much about Tiffany. Because Tiffany, she was there, but she wasn't really there. I mean, like, the only person she really made an impact on was Chris. But as far as everybody else, people really didn't care about Tiffany. She was very, she was very, she was very pretty, but... That's, a, that's just the honest truth. Allison, I, uh, I did like Allison at the beginning, but when she sat up there and told Brandon all the stuff she told her, why would, I, I, I didn't understand why she did that. I was like, you dumbass bitch. Why would you tell, why would you tell the devil all the things that your, uh, all the things that your friend did? That didn't make no sense. Um, um, Terry, but I, even though she was eliminated, I did not like, I did not like Terry at all. She was she was kind of weird. She was all over. Let's see, this is what I'm saying. Why was everybody all over Brandon on the first day? In my opinion, Brandon is ugly as fuck. His head all weird. He got these nasty bags under his eyes. One eye bigger than the other. How is that attractive? How is that so fine? I don't, I don't understand. Maybe y'all do. I don't. So um, Terry, I really wasn't feeling Terry. Like she was all up his crack. Like he's been about his crack. He don't want you up his crack. And I don't see how you can catch so many feelings on really the sh- on the shorts about a time. Like that that tells something about me to me that you've been hit and quick so many times before. So let's move on. Let's move on down to um, K. K. I do like you. Uh, you're very you're very pretty as well. But when Brandon was said that uh, yeah, when you and Brandon got to it, the Kyle, you was pretty to a race of well. You should have handled it more than that. So, now let's just go down uh, 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 and go down into the season. Now, from the beginning, I did not, uh, I really did not like Brandon. When that bitch was talking about some, uh, when Tiffany was licking shit up off him, he was like, you know what, most dudes might get the ego boost, but that's just the day in the life of Brandon. Bitch, please. Get flat in there and support out of here. You know that shit gonna happen to you uh, every day and every day in your life because it has, it, it would have been continually happening to you throughout the show. Once that happened, bitch, nobody was thinking about your ass no more. So let's move on, let's move on down. And the first episode really wasn't nothing. Everybody gets to know each other. Second episode is when the drama started between Terry and Milan. Now, I really understand why, uh, why the drama had really started. I mean, when um, Terry, Brandon, and Cal was still there talking about uh, talking about Brandon and Terry's relationship, Milan wasn't talking about Terry in any negative way, or at least that wasn't shown on camera first and foremost. But she was just saying like, okay, okay, well, if you have two people and one person not interested, then what more can you do besides telling the truth? Basically, and then if you're gonna come from Milan, you might as well come from Kyle and Terry too, because they was a part of the conversation as well. Really, you just wanted to be somebody who made it, and since you really didn't even know Milan, you was gonna come for her ass. 
<laughs> and look where it got you in the future. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the second episode. The third episode, Terry was really, she was getting her home on. Like, she was all up in the pool with Brandon's friends. Like, yesterday, she, this bitch was clearly all up on Brandon's ass. Then she, went, she got to the shower with his ass. Now, what's the point of y'all getting to the shower if y'all wanna go do shit anyway? Like, I'm not about to take my ass to the shower unless we ain't gonna get down. Like, what the fuck was the point? It seemed like they were just talking and having no regular conversation. Bitch, you could just got to tell, drive the fuck off and call it a damn day. But you wanna get in the shower? It didn't make no sense. And like Milan said, everything else is public, but that's private. That's where y'all get naked, and that's where y'all watch, watch that. So why would you even bring a dude to that, and it wasn't even worth it. Like, if I bring you something that, and I gotta hit my woman's mouth, bitch, we gonna do something. At least in my opinion. So, and then Milan, she did, she put, she did pull Terry to say, you know what, I'm not comfortable with this, and uh, this, that, and the fourth. So, it, there was really no drama. At least later until the house meet. Now, on that on her episode, uh, the, uh, the one that, on one of the uh, friends, uh, one of the bitches who came over there as friend and friend, he knew he knew what he was doing because as soon as Milan came into the room, he wanted to magically shut up. This is not um, what the fuck. What the fuck, serious? This is not a chunk, but you are not magically delicious. Don't try to make me shut up now. You see her walking around. And then she could be playing off with well. If it was me, I would have kept on uh, talking anyway. I would have started talking about something else, but he would look at her and be like, yeah, bitch, you made two fucking eyes. That's what's the bar Continue on. When, uh, when, okay, Blind, you were, uh, I, I was like, you were a little rude, and he was like, okay, there's a house meeting, case closed. I was like, I would have said the same thing, seriously, as well. Like, I ain't gonna go to the house meeting. That's first and foremost. Uh, uh, Renee, Milan, Paris, Dennis, Edwin, Florence, what? That's, that's how I would have came to see. I understand that part. But as far as when, uh, Milan was very calm during the, uh, during the course of the argument, she's very calm and she wants to make peace. But however, Terry wants to keep going up like, you think you're in video business and that? And to me, it seemed like she was sending us some subliminal. Send us some little messages like, if you see something up, have you seen the Halle Berry uh, video? Video? Some of the videos would be looking good. So she was really sending um, a lot of some little messages saying, like, you look good with all this kind of stuff. So that, that's saying enough. Now let's go down to the fight. Uh, it's really wasn't much the same. A lot was uh, really trying to. Uh, she took so much of Terry. Um, um, quite frankly, um, in actuality, I wouldn't even get past the. Uh, so as this bitch there, I saw Derek. It would have been. It would have been all in popping like this brown bitch. But um, a lot she really impressed me. And I, uh, as to wait before she ran up. And then I could understand after, after uh, Milan did run up, I didn't understand why Terry was talking like, I just got to stick to her. And then uh, she was just get on my nerves, so I had to, what did you do? Seriously. She talking like she ran up on Milan and hit her in the face. Or whatever the hell Milan did to her, you do nothing at all. You was talking about the damn kick so damn bad, but bitch, that kick was emphasized whatsoever. When Milan ran up on your ass, it went black and white, and it was a slow motion. Your kick, bitch, they, 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 they must even show that. That's why everybody was going to talk about you got your ass And I'm glad they sent the ass home, too. I thought you had friends, you should have, you didn't have friends. Because you sat up there, and, and you continued to go on and on and on and on with the name calling, picking up pool sticks, and you talking about you do something, it, it was, it was inevitable. It was inevitable. Fourth episode, uh, they was on, they, it was, uh, it was a tight swing vote, they were voting on who wants to stay home, and this is what I would have did. Uh, I would have voted for, uh, would have voted for Terry as to go home, because like, bitch, you're not gonna sit, you're not gonna continually come for me, and I'm not gonna react. I mean, there's so much I can take. But when, but when I can, but this, this, I'm sure this is anybody, when you pop off, you pop off. Like, Talisha from Bad Girls, so bitch, pop off. And when you pop off, it's saying, duh, you're not thinking of it. So Terry needed to go home. And Brandon, okay, Brandon did have right intentions, but he wasn't re really being logical. Both the girls cannot stay. Now, cause, like, even, even if it was, it was Tavo, one of them has to go. Okay? Like a, and like a, everything must go, everything has to go. Therefore, it doesn't matter if 